Hey guys, just jumping on real quick here to let you know about a new product. This is the Udi that I am wearing. Uh, Udi must have known we were heading to Tassie and they sent us uh, one to uh, test out and review. Uh, I love it. It's so so snuggly, so warm, so cozy. Um, it's great. I love it. The designs are really cool as well. I got to pick mine uh, and if you don't know, I love this color green and Eeyore is my favorite. Uh, so that's why I picked this one, but there's so many to choose from. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, I approve. I love it. Um, we have a discount code that I'll pop in the description as well as here. And, uh, yeah, totally recommend getting an Audi. Alrighty, we have relo relocated to site 33 and it's another good one. This is the view from the door. Very little access to the water and uh, views out to the bay. I'll show you around. So, if you can't get on the beach, this one's a good one too. camps we're around the corner now uh slightly off the beach but still not really uh, and i'm gonna try out the i guess the more northerly section of south lafroy normally we pop out from snorkeling like before we get up here but today since we're up here i'm, gonna, I'm just walking down a little bit and then i'll jump in and check out the more northerly section because i haven't seen it this time
Would you hold me if I told you we can just run away? So come, my darling, let me help you. We can follow the sun and leave the rain for somebody else. Let's help ourselves. Leave our trouble. four weeks now I guess um, and we've been testing it out and officially can approve that we like it so it is a nature bed hammock this is the size of it and it can take two people and the weight of I think like 200 kilos or something it's, it can hold a lot but it folds up into about a 200 gram package this size which is awesome for us travelers I'll show you how we set it up it comes with um, the straps and they they've got little sections in there so if you're not quite get if you if you need to be adjustable, you can adjust the clips at all different spots along there. Really solid um, quality straps. Two of those, and the hammock pops out of its own little bag. Just like that. It's big. And what's the un, what's the unique selling point of this hammock that compared it, to other hammocks on the market? It comes with it's an already attached mozzie net dome o attached to it that you can unzip all the way out of the way if you don't need mozzies or flies bothering you, um, or zip it up if they're annoying you. So and it's attached. You don't have to add an extra mozzie net over the top and extra strings and things. It's already there as one if you need it. Let's hang it up. Looks terrible, Amanda. It's a hard life. <laughs> it's pretty comfy. This is obviously without the. Uh, this is without sorry. the mosquito net on. Oh, sorry. Yes, this is without the mosquito net on. So you can see we've tucked, unzipped it all the way, and we've tucked it around into the little bag here. And um, there's no bugs, so I don't need it. And uh, yeah, the other bits just kind of stay out of the way, up there, and you can. Um, so obviously normally put it up with trees but here at the beach we don't have any trees so we're using our truck on one side I'll just show you that that's super easy you can put it on a roof rack or anything like that if you've got a ladder you can put a ladder we've put it on the back of our truck before as well and then the other side to stretch it out obviously need a second thing we carry a star picket we bought it for the beach actually um, so it's a star picket down and in and then there's some rope with a sand stick like a sand peg and that's perfectly enough to hold me, hold Amanda, yeah, and Aria. Yeah, no problems. No complaints. Alrighty, it's dinner time. Uh, we're going to cook on the fire tonight. Uh, we're just going to have like a chicken burger type style thing. So I've cut the chicken breast up into like thinner kind of fillets and we're going to marinate it in lime juice, salt, pepper and garlic. Let it marinate for a little bit while the fire warms up. We'll just cook that on the fire and um, maybe some bacon because I've got it. And yeah, just have a chicken burger off the fire.
South of Port again. See what we see today. <laughs> And uh, it still is our favourite and always will be our favourite spot, I think, here on the Ningaloo. It is just epic. No matter what campsite you're in, you can just make the most of this amazing place. And I think it needs to be on everyone's bucket list. I don't think I'm ready to say goodbye though. I don't know when we'll be back. <laughs> Last time we were here, we knew we were coming back. This time we don't know when. But we're definitely, definitely coming back. So if you can take any of your bottles and cans to a proper recycling centre, that would be even better. Um, but if you can't, well, that's just how it is. Um, there are dump points at each of those sites and there is no water um, available. There is some bores and things um, around, but there's no like fresh water as such. Not even here at this point. Um, it is only small. but it is big enough for everyone to do what they need to do. Anyway, we're heading south. I'll show you the next stop when we get there. 